First, our top story this morning, anger surrounding Donald Trump's presidential campaign reaches a boiling point in Chicago. Last night, the Republican frontrunner canceled a campaign rally over security concerns when thousands of protesters gathered outside an arena at the University of Illinois and then flooded the venue where he was scheduled to speak. Trump's campaign events have turned increasingly hostile, with sometimes violent confrontations between his supporters and demonstrators. Dean Reynolds is at the campus with more on that. Dean, good morning. Good morning. Well, the police say they made five arrests last night during demonstrations that were actually mostly peaceful. They say they did not recommend canceling the event. That decision, they say, was made by the Trump campaign. For the safety of all the tens of thousands of people, that have gathered in and around the arena. Tonight's rally will be postponed until another day. The announcement by a Trump staffer set off celebrations for some and disappointment for others. As police tried to clear the pavilion, some fights broke out. Demonstrators, many of whom are students at the University of Illinois Chicago, say Trump received their message. This is our university. He came to our university and we shut him down. Trump loyalists say the protest was an attack on free speech. They are the intolerant ones. They can't stand that somebody has an opinion that's not theirs. As the heated exchanges continued outside the arena, Trump explained why he canceled the event. I don't want to see any of the people hurt, either inside or outside. And law enforcement said, you know, they just don't have enough men to cover you. But Chicago police say that's not the case. I can't tell you that we did assure the Trump campaign that we had uh, more than adequate resources. One officer was hurt outside when he was struck with a bottle. Get him out of here. Get him out. Get him out of here. Tensions at Trump rallies have been stewing for some time. Earlier Friday, three dozen people were arrested at an event in St. Louis. And this week, a protester being let out of a North Carolina rally appeared to be sucker punched by a Trump supporter. Neutral. Trump's the chief Republican year, rival, Ted Cruz, called it a sad day and laid Obama. some of the responsibility at the feet of the GOP frontrunner. When you have a campaign that affirmatively encourages violence, when you have a campaign that is facing allegations of physical violence against members of the press, you create an environment that only encourages this sort of nasty discord. Now, Donald Trump has taken to Twitter again this morning, writing, the organized group of people, many of them thugs, who shut down our First Amendment rights in Chicago have totally energized America. Anthony? Dean Reynolds in Chicago. Thanks, Dean.